Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of uh, Building a Better South. It's been a minute. We've been sending kids off to colleges, uh, grad school, Just, and yeah, yeah. all that good stuff. And we're back here at Blackberry. We've gotten moved in. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are we going to talk about today? So we're going to welcome you guys back in. You guys have been wanting to see some of the furnishes, some of the wallpaper finished, the kitchen finished out. So we are going to share with you the kitchen and the butler's pantry, the powder room, our dining room area. And I think that covers it for today, but we're just starting here on our front porch. Yeah. And if you've forgotten, I'm Jason Gretchen Black. Uh, so come on in, let's check it out. Yep. Welcome in, Gus. Walk through the foyer here and pass yeah. through the great room. Yeah, just to remind you, walk in the foyer area, then we have our great room area and that opens up to our kitchen area which has been getting a ton of use yeah. since we're all staying at home more we're not eating out as much so we've been doing a lot of cooking and baking lately yeah perfecting some uh, some family recipes of yours and mine mm -hmm. which have been been great so we've uh, we've enjoyed that and gosh let's go straight on to the focal point of our kitchen one of my favorite spots in uh, in the place. Yeah, and I just want to remind everyone, because I know you'll ask, we get asked a lot, it's sleepy blue is the cabinet color in this kitchen. So, <laughs> sleepy blue. <laughs> so, we've had an ongoing partnership with LK, mm -hmm. and we've got their sinks throughout our house and throughout a lot of our projects, but Gretchen had the idea uh, to take an apron front sink and yeah. cover it with marble. Right. So. This is an actual LK sink, which means, you know, it's stain and scratch resistant. It is the fire clay sink and it's in the white finish. It's extra deep so you can fit all your pots in. It actually has the divider, which is the first time we've had a divider sink in a while. And I've actually really enjoyed it because you can keep the dirty dishes on one side. You can rinse all the clean stuff on the other side. And my favorite feature of this LK sink is the removable cutting board. It's a nice walnut cutting board, butcher block. You can use it. You can flip it this time of year. It's great. Flip it over. Use it as a charcuterie board. You know, if you're having a few friends over. So. And I love it because I can put the dirty dishes in the sink and cover it up. And, and he does it's... that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, the sink's clean. Oh no, it's not. Um, but anyway, yeah. it's a great feature in our sink and we love our LK sink. And you had the vision from, I think, the day we first started the blueprints of an arch window over the, the sink. And yeah, we both had our kind of must have, our wish list for this house and I really wanted an arch window over a sink. I'm a huge fan. If you have the ability to have a window around your sink area, just I like the natural light pouring in. I like having a view of something besides a wall when I'm doing dishes. We do spend a lot of time cleaning and doing dishes. Um, so it's, it's just nice to have that window area. Yeah, and originally we had three windows here. I think at some point in, in the process, we switched it over to one big window. Yeah. And super happy with, with how that Yeah, and it, so it is fake, I mean fixed. It doesn't open, but we don't mind that. Yeah, all right, where are we going Yeah. Here? Did you and talk about the wallpaper, where that's from? Everybody yeah, always loves I know. the wallpaper. So this is a Schumacher wallpaper. Uh, we used it in our powder room at the Edgewood house. I loved it so much that I wanted to incorporate it here at this home. So, and again, that sleepy blue ties in nicely with it. Yeah, we'll try to remind, everybody always likes the materials and finishes, so mm -hmm. we'll try to Oh, and yeah, and out. marble. We did a honed marble countertop. And where, your hardware, everybody always wants to know where the hardware's from. Um, I actually sourced this from a couple different spots, so maybe I'll work on a source yeah, guide for that. Yeah, got the little keyholes yeah. there. Yeah, and... but I, I did add the little faux keyhole, just because, again, I love making things look older, like they've had some charm to them, so I thought that was a fun detail to add to the fronts of those. And again, we went with our, our cafe appliances, mm -hmm. which we love again on this house, so yeah. very happy with those. So let's talk about this, which we worked together yeah. on to design this dining room table. 
we looked and looked and we had a cool farmhouse table that just didn't didn't work here and uh, we wanted something a little bit cleaner mm -hmm. and I was into reading a lot um, yeah as a lot of books or no <laughs> So we had the idea of doing a little, a neat little detail and Gretchen wanted the white oak and not a painted tabletop. So mm -hmm. it's actually a wood veneer. We actually went to the mill where they were kind of, they came in about six to eight inch wide widths and they glued them together. So it's all from the same tree. It's a very consistent look. It's mm -hmm. a, um, I think it's a rift and quartered white oak veneer. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, Patrick with Element Woodworks did an amazing job of putting it together. And it's actually the shape of, I don't want to, almost like an oval or a race car track. It just has a slight little mm -hmm. bend to it. So, and then we curve the corners. Yeah, and, and I think it works well for us because this was such a specific space. Our last dining room table, it wasn't going to be big enough. We looked at a ton of tables that were this length and they were either too traditional for our taste or too farmhouse for our taste. We didn't want the the knots and the you know the deep divots in the top of the grain because I feel like we've had that type of table before and crumbs always just you know get caught in it. So I feel like this is a nice clean timeless look and I think it, it fits perfectly. We can sit eight comfortably. I think we can get even more. Yeah I think we we've We've at one point figured we can get 10 in here and then we have the four island chairs. So that, you know, that makes this area seatable for 14 back when we can host large gatherings again. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully sometime in the future. And we wanted just a few windows in this space. So <laughs> um, we went with, gosh, basically floor to ceiling windows. We raised the ceiling height up in here to 11 feet mm -hmm. uh, and did a 24 inch tall transom on top of those, those windows. and just kind of has those almost panoramic views out the back and you can kind of see the, the trees are, are changing and falling as we speak, unfortunately, but uh, it's been pretty. Yeah, and we are working on a window treatment for this area. Um, as much as I, I love the openness, I did want to add just another design layer. Um, so really your options in here for me as a designer is I think you could do a faux Roman shade, you could do long panels, but we are actually going to do a cafe curtain. So the rods will be inset in here. And so you'll have curtains that just slide open, which we are going to keep open all the time because we don't really need the privacy back here. But again, it just adds another cozy element. Tons of light are, is still gonna come in this space. But again, I just wanted that another layer of design in here. And I like how you decided to paint ceilings, walls, trim, everything that sleepy blue. Mm -hmm. And it really, we did that cool custom, it's like a reverse reed or a scallop mm -hmm. detail below the crown molding and really finishes the space off just perfectly. Yeah, and this is a visual comfort lantern. Um, it's Julie Neal is the designer, so that worked out well. Again, your option when you have such a large table is you can do one large chandelier or two. Um, we opted for one large lantern style chandelier in this space. And we did repurpose our chairs from Edgewood. Mm -hmm. We had painted them navy. Yeah, they were navy. And I just repainted them all white with a <laughs> spray painter. So. Instead of a little paint booth, so. Yeah. Um, and this I, is, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Well, no, this was another design feature that Jason and I worked on. Um, we custom designed it with our trim carpenters and they did a beautiful job. So we had the opportunity just to get more storage because that is one thing in this kitchen, we have a lot of lower cabinets, but we didn't have a ton of upper cabinets because we did opt to do the big arched window over the sink. Um, so I needed more storage. So this house is just, you know, not your everyday wear stuff, but just all your nice, pretty stuff. So we've got the glass doors with glass shelves which is nice, so I just keep you know extra glasses and vases, and thank you, Jason, just turned on the light, so it is lit at night, which is nice. Just some extra drawer storage, and then storage underneath for tablecloths and linens. So we have two of these. They're both exactly the same on either side. My plan maybe is to put some 
small little printed wallpaper behind it eventually, but um, you know. I like the little cutout detail you mm -hmm. did with the furniture piece. And to tie in with the reeded detail on the table, we made these cased openings, reeded three panels that kind of match the door profile. Then we made this opening as wide and large, as tall as possible mm -hmm. with that same. So it's yeah. a good spot as you come by to yeah. I've feel been the quality it. of the I know. It's, it's really like a musical instrument. <laughs> so again, just did the same thing over here, just additional storage that takes you back to our Dutch door, which is the mudroom area um, with the cubbies and yeah. storage back there. We did do the cafe 48 inch, which it comes in matte white. It's coming out in spring of 2021. So I know everybody's asking yeah, we, that. I know we've got the pro, we were fortunate enough to have um, a prototype. Um, so we're testing it out for them. So coming next year, um, but, but we love it. And it will be switched out and we'll have um, the brush bronzed or brush gold handles. So, but, but we love that stove and we yeah. love, oh, we are yeah. still loving our little ledge detail, which has been nice to keep the extra salt and pe pepper, olive oils stored up here when we're cooking. So, and it's again- It's just much easier to grab. Yeah, and again, I just love that solid surface behind the cooktop. You don't have the grout lines to clean, so I, I love that. Well, speaking of uh, cooking and clean, let's show the uh, the working pantry, so to speak. Yes, yeah, we didn't show it this, that, I guess, aspect of our home last time. So this is this hallway back here, and one side is the friend's entry door, which is nice. Then we have the powder room, which um, we put wallpaper in, and we did a similar design of a vanity in our master vanities at Edgewood. I took that design and just replicated it again here in this powder room. I love the detail of the trim work we did there, we did a, I chose a Greek key. Again, I just love those old, timeless trim details that, and I think we implemented that well on the first floor of this home. And that takes you back to the butler's pantry, which can be closed off as needed. And here we are. So nice little prep area. I've got my little Vitamix in here, toaster, that kind of stuff. It's, you know, it's easy to prep and keep that stuff kind of on the countertop and easily accessible. Full fridge, we keep the beverages in here. Um, cold stuff, cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was another one of our LK. This is more of a farmhouse sink, so we did display that. Yeah, this is the smaller size. So they yeah. do come, which is nice, in different sizes. So, but that's that. And then we opted for open shelving in here. I know it, forced you to keep it a little bit cleaner, more mm -hmm. organized, uh, but it's a pantry. We wanted to be able to be accessible and easy and... We're trying to be organized. We're, <laughs> we're getting there slowly but surely. I know, I see everybody post these pictures on Pinterest or Instagram of everything just perfect in the pantry and... Yeah. We're organized. We're, we're getting quite. there. Yeah. yeah, we got a nice little pull-out garbage can, recycle bin here, extra drawers for storage here. I did want to say that these faucets, because we didn't mention, but it's the same style and brand, is uh, Waterstone. And that's what the faucet is in here and in the kitchen. Yep. So, and again, this whole entire space is painted sleepy blue. And then your fabric on the window tree. Yeah, and so, well. yeah, and this is a Schumacher fabric. Eventually, I may want to either put a tile backsplash back here or another fun little wallpaper print. But <laughs> Yeah, we did keep this super clean with the white cliff from Cambry. It's a quartz, so it's, uh, gosh, like non-porous and yeah. super clean to wipe off because sometimes I make a mess in here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely nice to have the Cambria here in the working pantry area because yeah. I have noticed I've come back here and there's been like chocolate <laughs> shake stains. Oh, must be from the dog. <laughs> yeah. The boys, just always blame it on the boys. Um, well, gosh, we covered a lot of material today. I know. I can't believe we've been living here a few months already. I know. Gosh, uh, it's it's been nice to have uh, yeah. you know some projects to work on during mm -hmm. during these times, and um, we hope you guys enjoyed uh, this tour of our our home. So we're going to come back next week and look at some more. Right, so next week we're gonna show you the basement and show you some finishes that we selected down there. 
So if folks want to follow you, how can they find you? You can find me on Instagram under Gretchen Black. And I'm Jason Black with Artisan Signature Homes and together we're building, building a, a better, better South. South.